OK, uh, welcome to my tech talk. I'm going to be talking about web scraping in Node.js. First, I'm going to show you an image that you get when you Google image search web scraping. This is not web scraping. <laughs> uh, this scraper has a power button, and I don't know why. Um, anyway, a quick overview of my presentation. I'm going to be talking about what web scraping is, how it works, and what tools are used to do it. And I'm going to kind of give you a quick live demo and a code walkthrough. And sticking with this cohort's tradition, I'm going to use cute animals to do it. Uh, so what is web scraping? Web scraping is when you collect data from the web, usually in large quantities, and you store it in some type of uh, storage place, like a spreadsheet or a database, something like that. It is very multi-purpose. Um, there are a lot of uses for it. Businesses can use it to do things like monitor their online reputation or do price checks, things like that, price comparisons. Um, my example that I'm using later is just, you know, comparing kittens because, you know, it's uh, what you do. Um, there are three kind of basic steps to web scraping. The first step is you make a request to the web page you want to scrape, and that will give you all of the information on that page as HTML. Um, from there, you want to search through all of that information for the specific data that you want to collect and use, and you can store that data however you want. Um, there are a lot of JavaScript libraries that exist uh, that help you do web scraping. The two that I chose to use are Request and Cheerio. Request, as its name suggests, uh, makes a request to a specific web page and gets back its entire HTML body. Cheerio takes basically the syntax of jQuery and allows you to search through that HTML body and kind of pick out the pieces of information that you want. Uh, so now I will show you kind of what that looks like as code, which is here. Um, so starting on line six is the URL that I'm going to make the request to. I'm going to show you what that page looks like, which is just this cute Midwest animal rescue and services page that has a list of kittens, all of whom I've visited, obviously. Um, and so we're going to make a request to that URL. We're going to get back the body, which I have an example of what that looks like. It's just straight HTML, um, and so we are going to assign this dollar sign to Cheerio.LoadBody, which basically says, okay, Cheerio, this is what we're going to be searching through. Um, I have this name array where I'm going to store all the names. And then using this jQuery-esque syntax, I'm going to search for all of the A tags under all of the browse info classes. And if you're wondering, like, what are these random classes that you're throwing at me, and how do I know what classes I want to use? Um, for this example, I'm just looking to get the kitten's names. So if I inspect this page, I can see that there is this browse info chunk. And following that down, because I don't want all of it, I just want the name. I can see that this A tag contains the text that I want to grab. And so this is grabbing all of those little A tags within that class, and it's pushing the text into this array. I'm using FS as my sort of storage method, so all I'm doing is I'm writing those names to a text file called names.txt. Um, and so when I actually run that, it takes a second, and then if I visit names.txt, it's just a list of the kitten's names. So this boring, or this <laughs> example is a little bit boring <laughs> and doesn't really demonstrate uh, why web scraping is useful because it's pretty easy to like look at this and just be like, okay, these are their names, whatever. But let me introduce a different use case to you. Say my parents want to adopt a kitten and they want to be able to compare all of these kittens, but they don't like clicking back and forth all the time. And so they want to look at all of these kittens' data in a spreadsheet. And so if we look at this kitten, Albert Einstein, 
first thing we should notice is that he has a sister named Grace Hopper. Um, she was adopted. He wasn't, for obvious reasons. Um, and he has all this information associated to him, like his species, his pattern, his current size, blah, blah, blah. And so I have a little bit of a longer example of just grabbing all of that information. I'm not going to go into it sort of line by line, but I'll give you a high level overview of what's happening. In this first function called scrape links, I'm just grabbing all of the links to the different cat's individual pages and then 